Let's have a little discussion about the new Little Mermaid movie with Ariel cast black. Here's the problem. First of all, whitewashing. It's a term that's been bandied about by leftist lunatics for a long time. In all kinds of movies, oh, you can't cast Scarlett Johansson to be in the Japanese story Ghost in the Shell. Why don't you cast a Japanese person that doesn't speak English? So that would make it a little harder for them to... Yeah, people actually suggested casting a Japanese person who probably doesn't speak English very well instead of Scarlett Johansson, a high-named actress. So, whitewashing is problematic. It's so problematic whenever you take a story involving a different ethnicity than white people and put white people in the role. However, when The Little Mermaid comes around, who do they cast? They cast a black person to be the live-action version of a white character. Blackwashing, or what I call blackface. Because that's what it is. See, here's the problem with this whole race swapping thing. When you take a story and you switch the races around solely to pander to people who want so-called diversity, what you really end up with is a white story, for lack of a better way of explaining that, that has been blackwashed. It is a blackface version of a white story. Because what's really going on here is they're taking name recognition to bring in a built-in customer base of people with nostalgia and, like I said, name recognition, and then they're putting the diverse agenda on top of it. What they're doing is blackfacing a white story for dollars. Now, why is this a problem for specifically in this case, the black people that are supposedly served well by the representation that this story gives. Take Black Panther. Black Panther is a story with black people. It is a story with black everything, really. Everything in it. All of the people are black people people. It's a story written for black characters. An original story. It was supposed to be for and about black people from the start. Now granted, superhero stories are for everybody in general, but if you're going to cast black main characters, write a story for those black characters, you can at least do them the dignity of having a story that you wrote for them instead of taking something that was written for white people 50 years ago and then slapping some black paint on that mermaid and going this is good enough this is what black people deserve look at how hashtag diverse it is look everyone we're making black people feel like they're part of society too because what we've done is not write a story for them we've put in the absolute minimum amount of effort for them and made this story that already existed for a very long time that's originated from a totally white at the time european country's fairy tales and we've slapped a nice paint of black on it don't you feel so good, black people? Doesn't this make you so happy that these people have decided that you're worth having your own story as long as they can put the least amount of effort possible into it? Quite literally just slapping a face on there, saying hashtag diverse, hashtag feminism. Look at how stunning and brave this is. Look at how awesome we are with the representation of these black people that are underserved and underprivileged. And we're serving them by just not really doing much of anything. Oh yeah, put together a live action. The Disney live action stuff is notoriously bad. Like, I just recently watched the Aladdin one, and they made sure to cast mostly characters of Arabian descent, which, you know, that makes some degree of sense. But I don't care. I don't care about that. I don't care if they're white or black or Arabian. In the end, it needs to be a good story. And if you're going to put characters in there, that in this case, you know, the canon of The Little Mermaid is it's a red-headed Danish girl. It's not a black person. It never could have been, but it's not Asian, not Hispanic, not Indian, because it couldn't have been in the first place. If we're really going to put any degree of importance on the canon of a story, you need to stick with it, not take someone else that doesn't fit and slap it on there. Now, the thing is, I don't have as big of a problem with the fact that it's a black mermaid so much as that it looks like crap. 
the whole thing looks like crap. The trailer looks like crap. It's a bad trailer. The colors are terrible. It's just, it's an, it's a dirty looking movie. And that's almost more insulting to black people than anything else. Not only are they not worth writing a story for, but then they slap them in this live action film that it doesn't look like it's underwater so much as like it's dark and dirty. What are they really trying to say to you? And then you have this other video that's tangentially related of little black girls reacting to the Little Mermaid trailer with the black Ariel. Who, by the way, they could have cast almost any other black actress and would have looked a lot better in that role. Let's just be honest, there's, there's something unnerving about the person that they picked. And I heard rumor that that person might have been picked because Beyonce shoveled them in there through a backroom deal. But that's rumor and speculation. So this video of young black girls reacting to the Little Mermaid. Oh, hey, she's brown like me. You know, there are all these kinds of reactions like, oh, wow, she's brown like me. That is literally what one of the girls said. Now, two things about that. One, if you offer a child ice cream to react to something, how much you want to bet they're going to react to something with that exuberance? If you coach them on what to say right before you hit that record button, you can get that response out of any child ever. Go look at any toy, any toy channel ever made. That's what they do. Uh, hey, uh, say, oh, hey, I'm so excited. In fact, I think iDubs did a content cop episode about toy channels where that's exactly what happens. I'm so excited. I wonder what's inside. Same thing with these kids. You can't trust a bunch of little children, especially when they're like, yay, she's brown like me. What are the chances that a child actually said that without any outside coaching, without any kind of bribery before the record button was pressed? What are the chances? And if it's organic, what are the parents teaching her? Because a child doesn't learn to say that in a vacuum. That means that the parent is coaching them on racial differences, effectively turning them into someone who sees race in everything, turning them into a racist. So mm, I'd personally consider that a, a sort of child abuse, mild, you know, not the kind of thing you'd lock someone up for, but they do deserve a little smack on the face if they're doing that to their poor kids. So these children, they could have been coached, they could have been bribed. There's all kinds of ways to manipulate them. But then, the thing where she says, oh, she's brown like me, what happens if you flip that around? What if you have a bunch of little white girls who see a movie that originally had black characters, but then they made them all white? And they go, oh, yay, she's white like me. Finally, she's, she's white like me. This, this account has been terminated for violating YouTube's community guidelines. And that's exactly what would happen. Because that is somehow racist, even though it's the exact same thing. So most of the problem that people have with this movie is not so much with the fact in and of itself that they cast a black character instead of a white one. Most of the problem is that it looks like crap, it's lazy, it's Hollywood just trying to make as much money as possible with as little effort as possible. They pretend to care about black people, but they put no effort into actually writing a story for a black person, instead black-facing a white story because, huh, we didn't have to spend too much on that diversity, thank God. And then there's the double standard. If leftists didn't have double standards, they'd have no standards at all. Whitewashing movies, racist and not okay. Blackwashing movies, stunning, brave, and oh, she's black like me. There's so much hope for the children. But if a child says, oh, look, this character's white like me. How awesome is that? Nazi racist, that child gets to go to a re-education camp. Uh, Juden ist verboten because literally Hitler. Um, I don't even know if I said that right. I'm not, I'm, yeah, I don't know. So this whole thing is stupid. Um, hate the movie because it sucks. Hate the movie because it's lazy. Hate the movie because it's insulting to black people that they even put this crap out there. And if you want to see the ultimate play out of the hypocrisy... Go look for the video where someone, I think his name is like the Gazillion IQ or something on Twitter, AI changed the black character in the trailer over to a white character with red hair. That person got banned within 
a fairly short time frame, banned from Twitter for violating the media policy on Twitter. Well, no, they got banned from Twitter because they took the blackwashing and unblackwashed it. They unquote diversified it. So that's hypocrisy in a nutshell. You can't take the white story that was blackwashed and whitewash it back to the way that it originally was meant to be. Or you get banned from social media for violating the Gestapo of diversity. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. You know what else to do. Take it easy. Have a good one. Tell me all about your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, no step on snack.